welcome back to my channel so today i have this blonde unit from arabella hair i will leave all the information for this wig down below as well as any coupon codes and all that fun stuff so baby we have the rich black girl blonde installed today and i was so excited about it a little skeptical because you know i feel about roots sometime but it was like perfection like literal perfection and as soon as i saw this wig i was like i know for a fact that i want to do more of a side bang versus a side part i typically do a side part all the time but it's like out my face but this time i wanted it to give bangs i wanted it to give layers and i wanted it to give body so before installing this wig i did actually wash it off camera and i did a little bit of plucking on the mannequin head just to make the install easier and i knew i was probably gonna wear this for like a few days so i wanted my hair to be washed and clean i didn't want to just put the hair in out the box because when i do that i normally am taking it off that day and it's not a big deal so anyways you guys know my installs are super easy i just use spray i don't do all that extra stuff it's really a process with me it looks like crazy and then it it gradually gets better so just trust the process also keep in mind my camera is like 4k so it picks up everything in person i'd be like yes 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 and i look back i'd be like oh but just know it was late okay So in order to achieve this style, you're going to need a wig that has a full frontal. So that means you can part the wig as far to the side as you want, on the other side, down the middle, and it is a true 13 by 4. A lot of times the frontals only um, go down the middle and then the ends are like weird. You can't really part to the side like that. So make sure that your wig has a full, full frontal. As you can see, I have a very, very deep side part, so I'm able to achieve the look that I'm going for today. So now that my part is laid and i figured out where everything's going i'm going to start my layers i like to start in the front i am not a professional okay i just eyeball it and baby you're just gonna have to do the same thing because i've chopped up a lot of wigs to get to this point and like i know it sucks but like it's okay you'll learn so i like to start my shortest layer at my chin and just go from there that's how you frame the face so um i just gradually work it up if i was just doing a regular side part with curls i would leave it like that but because i was doing more of a bang i actually went even shorter with the layers a lot of it couldn't even be on camera because it was just a lot of chop 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 chopping um but just kind of play with it do what works for you i could have even went shorter than i did but i was like let me not mess things up so ended up working out perfectly so i like to layer the hair and then curl the hair and then once the hair is curled i can see where the curls are falling and cut more if necessary that is just my technique that's what works for me um i've noticed that it's the easiest because i don't want to just curl the hair with no layers and then go in and cut it i like to kind of like do a rough draft first so if you're having a hard time it's going to take a few extra steps but it is what it is I didn't want to bore you guys too much with the curls, but I did do about seven curls on each side, give or take. Um, so about medium pieces. And I'm just kind of combing through it and see what it's giving. Again, that was like my rough draft curl because I'm going to layer some more and then probably curl it again towards the end. So um, for this to be like a 613 that's, you know, ashed and rooted and all that, the quality is amazing. I love how it holds a curl. I did wear this hair for a few days and the curls remained the same in the wig even the next day, which normally with like blonde colored hair, the curls drop instantly. So I'm now cutting the lace, which why wow, I just realized I didn't do this all time. Nothing special. I have been enjoying to use the razor a little bit more. So when I do remember, I do try to use the razor. And when I did wear this the next day, cause I don't sleep in my wigs. So sorry guys. <laughs> but when I, um, put this on the next day I did cut off a little bit more lace and laid it again so it did look a little different so I've really been enjoying this wig I've been putting it on and off for the last few days and it's giving honey
I did not add any foundation to my lace because I feel like anytime I have a color wig and I try to add foundation or any powder, it actually just like gets on the hair or it makes the lace too, too dark. So I just skipped it and made sure it was as melted as possible. But I did wear the wig um, another day. So I had took it off and put it back on. And when I reinstalled it, I did cut some more lace off. So there was actually less lace that time than what you guys are seeing now. So I'm just cutting, cutting, cutting some more because I am gonna put some rollers in my hair while I do my makeup, which I did do my makeup and it is posted on my other channel. So make sure you guys check that out if you're interested in the makeup look. But like, look at the hair, it looks so freaking good. Is there a hole in my shirt? I never wore this shirt before, that's crazy. But anyways, um, um, I just put some rollers in while I did my makeup so I could have some va-va-voom, some volume. And that was pretty much it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the look. Comment down below your thoughts. Is it giving black girl, black rich girl blonde? You know what I'm talking about? That I got money blonde. You know what I'm saying? I think it's giving that. But um, anyways, comment down below. Don't forget to um, check the description box for all the information on this wig. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.